How's it going guys? My name is Asian and welcome back to our Skyward video. Today I'll be showing you the best way to get baby Yeti pets from the Jerry Island event. So the baby Yeti pet is this pet. Um, it's pretty good in dungeons. It has good survivability. Uh, once it's obviously a higher level, mine's level 1. But it gives good survivability um, and gives a decent amount of strength. Um, and the third perk is completely useless. That's why the epic and legendary ones are the same price. But the reason you want to get this pet from the Jerry Island is because it makes a lot of money. So if you look on the auction house and search up Yeti, uh, and you can see that the baby Yeti pet's worth around like 25 million for the lowest one. It goes up to 25 million. It's at like 21 now because the event's going on and people are selling theirs. But it goes up to 25 or about 23 to 25 mil. So you want to wait like a couple of days after the event is over to sell them if you get any. So this video, I'll be going over the best way to get them. Uh, so first is gear. You want good gear to be able to get the baby Yeti pet. So the gear I'm talking about is shark armor. Obviously, it doesn't have to be maxed out like mine. But you want pretty good shark armor, and you want to get Legion when you can, as soon as you can afford it because Legion boosts your secret or chance a lot. So the armor, I recommend you to get last because um, it's really expensive to get the submerged on there which is just one extra secret chance so i recommend you to max your armor last because it's uh you get the least amount of secret chance uh for a lot so yeah definitely get the armor last you can stick with divers or whatever but definitely do get shark just clean shark is fine probably the first thing you want to get uh, when you're fishing for yetis is an auger rod. So the auger rod triples the chance of a sea creature to be a winter sea creature when you catch a sea creature. Um, basically, uh, you catch a sea creature, the auger rod triples the chance to uh, for it to be a winter sea creature. So the Jerry in the Jerry Island, you don't always catch winter sea creatures. You have a chance to catch normal sea creatures, but the auger rod triples the chance of a sea creature to be a winter one. So it's definitely very useful. Um, this is, I think, a maxed auger rod. I'm not sure if there's any tier 7 fishing enchants, but yeah, definitely get expertise on there and level it up as you fish throughout the winter event. The longer you do the winter event, obviously, the more your expertise will go up, and it's really easy to get expertise 10 if you fish for like a couple hours or a couple events. Bait you want to use with the auger rod is uh, whale bait. So I have a bunch of whale bait right here. It's the most expensive bait, but it is the best bait to use with the auger rod. Um, if you can't afford whale bait, use like something like fish bait or something. But definitely do get whale bait because it's really good for catching sea creatures and yetis and uh, stuff like that. So yetis are the things you want to catch, obviously, if you didn't know that already. That there is a yeti and you want to catch it um, because it gives you, once you kill it, it gives you a chance to get a baby yeti pet, which is around like 20 mil. And probably the second thing uh, you want to get for your fishing setup is a dolphin because... Uh, it helps a lot with secret chance and it gives you a uh, faster fishing speed. So first you want to get the rod. Second, you want to get a, a good dolphin. So I have my level 100 dolphin right here. I use the epic one because um, I don't like the splash surprise perk. Uh, so I use the epic one. Epic one, a legendary one is the exact same thing except you just get like a stun on whatever secret chance you or secret you pull up. So yeah, definitely do go for the epic if you don't have that much money and put up washed up souvenir on there it's only like 700k so really affordable and to maximize uh your fishing speed and your secret chance you want to lobby with a decent amount of people this right here is not a lot of people but i am in the party with uh a couple people and you want you want to be like you want to like get a lot of people in the same party in the same like jerry island because legion it buffs um the buffs is based on how many players are near you so you definitely want to like if you have legion you definitely want a lot of people near you to buff your secret chance as high as it can get and it, even if you don't have legion it's good to fish with other people because the dolphin buff is basically you get more fishing speed for more people that are near you so be, people being near you is a great thing uh when you're fishing for yetis because you could get you're more efficient and you can pull up more sea creatures that way every fishing event you should ask your guild if there is a fishing party because if you're fishing with your guild, you uh, you probably know them, and it's like not so awkward to fish. Like it's kind of weird saying that, but yeah, it's kind of awkward to fish near people you don't know for a long time. And plus, if you're fishing in a party, someone pay, someone might be really stacked and be willing to kill your yetis for you uh, with a good magic find set. So 
the last thing you probably want to get when fishing for yetis is a good magic find set so the best magic find set you could probably get is a legion 5 renowned sorrow set because this is the best magic find set i think there is in the game and it's all with a dead daedalus axe so uh even if you don't have these don't worry because someone you know or someone that you meet might have him and you can ask them to kill your yetis for you and if they do kill the do kill your yetis for you you have a higher chance of getting one if you don't have the set because um they'll probably have a way more magic find than you and their magic find applies to the to your yeti when they kill it so you'll have a higher chance of getting a pet um and yeah and they don't have they can't pick up the loot because you have pick up priority and they don't even go for the loot anyways because they're just doing you a favor of killing your yetis with the high magic find set with the daedalus axe they'll usually have a black cat too to increase their magic find so uh yeah, black hats are expensive. Dayless hacks are expensive. The sorrow set is expensive, so you you definitely want to get the magic find set last. But someone someone else might have it in your lobby, so you want to ask people who you see with this set um, to kill your yetis for you. I recommend uh, fishing on this upper pond. So this is the upper pond. That's the lower pond over there. Because uh, when you fish here, people uh, more people gather around in like the same area. So uh, yeah. And it, your legion buff only goes up to 30 blocks so it only counts for people that are 30 blocks or closer to you and the dolphin buff is only 10 blocks and remember you might not always get lucky so you have to be willing if you're really committed you have to be willing to fish for a couple hours you might not even get a yeti pet every event but that's normal sometimes i fished for like i think i think the event lasts for like 11 hours and i didn't get a single yeti pet so there's, there's some days like that but you have to be really committed uh to yeti fishing to make a lot of money off it but yes it is really profitable if you do get lucky and even um if you don't get the pets from the yetis the red gifts and stuff they are in the resources you get uh they add up and they can make you quite a little bit, bit of money so that was my fishing guide on getting uh as many yeti pets as you can hopefully this tutorial helps you out in getting a lot of yetis and making a lot of money if this was helpful like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time Bye.